are gonna start the day off by finally unpacking the last of our bags because I think it's time. Hola everybody, I'm getting an early start to next week because I got quite a few orders in last night and this morning. I have a total of five orders open. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do all of them today because one of them I have to design and send a mock-up. It's a completely custom order. I have a unicorn cake topper to make, smiley face cake topper to make, and smiley face cupcake toppers. This is my list of orders for the day. We do the cake topper, unicorn cake topper, with the number four. I have a set of 12 cupcake toppers, a set of six toppers, and I have to design my custom order. The last one is a custom order for 3D cutouts. So it's not gonna be toppers, they're favorite things. I'll show you guys once I do that, but I think I'm gonna do that next week. I do wanna design today, so I'll work on that. The good news with today's orders is that I had mostly everything prepped. So that's one of the orders. That's another order, another order here. I just have to find another smiley face for the cake topper. My unicorn cake topper, I had most of the pieces ready to go. I just have to cut the name and one more piece. So the big rainbow that goes on top is actually this paper here. So I just have to cut that rainbow. And I do have to do a print and cut for the unicorn. It sucks that, that it's only one, but whatever. I'm just gonna have a whole bunch in stock when I cut that out. It's looking really good with the orders. I just had a couple mishaps trying to cut out the name. I try to use all my scrap pieces of paper, but sometimes it doesn't work out. Like this one, it was too small for what I needed. So it's just gonna go in the trash. And I just pulled out a whole bunch of other scrap pieces that I have because I'm telling you, I try to use as much of my material as I can. I hate to waste material. I cut more unicorns. This is the last piece that I needed to complete everything for all of the orders. So now the next step is going to be to assemble them, you know, add the adhesive and all that good stuff. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I have the clouds, I have the stars. Should be good to go for everything else. The one, I have smiley faces. I just attempted to make a TikTok. We'll just call it a social media video. And I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was thinking. I suck at social media now. I don't know what content to come up with. I just don't know what I'm doing when it comes to social media. This is a little clip of the video. The angle is horrible. It's so shaky. You couldn't even see what I was writing. My handwriting was horrible. I don't know where I was going with it. I think it's because when I film for YouTube and I'm personalizing these thank you notes or thank you cards, I put you guys down next to me and then I write. There's nothing in my way. There's like no pressure to do anything. I'm just writing. I'm just going about my day. But with this is more pressure because it's like, I know that it has to mean something. Like it has to be almost perfect. I mean, I tried. I tried to get some kind. I don't know what I was thinking to be quite honest. So yeah, so I got these five thank you cards written out for all of my customers. I didn't show that on here because I was showing it on my phone and it was a little bit of a fail. I don't know, is anybody else in a social media run like when it comes to TikTok and Instagram reels and all that because I definitely am. I'm stuck at nothing. Like I have no content, I have no content ideas and I don't know what to do. I'm gonna try to bring out my arm. I have this arm that I used to film with for YouTube before I strictly filmed on my camera. I had an arm for my phone. So I think I'm gonna bring it out, see if that helps me with social media. Other than that, I mean, this thing sucks. You can see this tripod leg in any angle that I put it in. I don't like that. And anything else, it doesn't fold all the way enough for me to get a good angle. I just got another order. And the best part is that it's for a smiley face cake topper. And I just cut a whole bunch of pieces for the same topper. So I don't have to cut anything else because it's already cut. I just have to put everything together. Another one to add to the list today. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm so glad that today is keeping me busy. I have to get my nails done at four. At some point, I have to edit this video. No, not this video. My fault. 
edit the video that's going up tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. I've already started working on the video that's gonna go out tomorrow. It's all over the place. But I have to finish editing it today so that way I could have it uploaded for tomorrow. So we're 100% back on our hustle mode. It's funny how the universe works because if this had been last week, I would have cried if I had this many orders. I would have cried sad tears because I knew I was gonna be able to fulfill it. So I was gonna have to refund everyone or just not be able to take the orders. And the first day that I'm fully back, because yesterday I was back, but I was still... You know a little eh. The first day that i'm fully back i have so many orders and i'm just so freaking grateful i got my apparatus for the social media content i hope this works because i paid a hundred dollars for this i'm pretty sure it was a hundred bucks on amazon so i'm gonna set it up i have to first find the pieces though i should have the pieces down here somewhere these should be all of the attachments so I'm going to look around and see where the attachment for the phone is. Because right now I have the attachment for the camera. I got it set up, but look how long this thing is. It goes all the way up there. I just have to remove most of these. It should create a nice stand for me to put it this way. Because, you know, I want it looking down. Oh my goodness, guys. I am a genius. I got it down to just one of these little extenders. The rest are over there. It is so stable. It's so perfect. I have enough space to work with here. Look at how clear that looks. You can barely see it because there's so much stuff in the way, but it's gonna be perfect. For example, what I was doing earlier with writing the thank you notes, look at the difference now. It's in frame. I just realized that it'll only work horizontally. All right, let me move it so that I could see how it works if I do vertical videos, because that's the whole point. I wanna do vertical videos for my social media. I mean, I could always do it this way, like this, but that's very uncomfortable for me because then I would have to somehow work like this and that's not comfortable. I wanna be able to work like this. All I had to do was flip this around. I didn't even have to move anything and it looks good. I'm not loving the keyboard showing on the camera, but that's okay. Maybe I can put, oh yeah, my social media nameplate and it fits perfectly i did have an issue where this was showing but i just zoomed in a little bit and now you don't see that anymore i think you might see like a little piece there but that's not too bad i really like this so right now i'm just gonna work with this i'm gonna do some packaging for social media i'm excited to see how that video comes out because this looks like a perfect setup I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this unicorn cake topper. The four belongs here, but I kind of want to put it here. I mean, I know I can't because that's not how my listing is. All of the unicorn cake toppers that I've done, the four goes on here. But I think I put this unicorn two to the right instead of moving it over to the left. It's already on there, so I, I can't do anything about it. But I think that's what's messing up the whole placement. I think I'm just gonna put it right there and have the star kind of on top of the four. But it's crazy how like a little tiny placement can just throw everything off. Okay, mis amigos, it's about that time. It's the end of the day and I am gonna show you what I've got accomplished today. I did so well out of six orders i got five of them complete the other one you guys already know it's a custom order so i have to design that and everything but anyway these are the two from my last video so we're not really gonna count that i have to make a shipping label for one of these we got natalie's order which is the one cake topper a couple vlogs ago i showed you guys this like no way of me sending a free gift i think i'm just gonna stick with this because if it's the thank you card perfectly and the packing slip. One of my friends suggested that I get like a smaller bag, a one by six maybe. That would have to mean that I have to purchase a whole nother thing that I can only use for the candle. So I figured I'm just gonna keep it right here because if it's everything in one. Lizette ordered the same cake topper and then Tony ordered the unicorn cake topper. Same thing for Tony. Got a little freebie there, but this one is pink with gold because it matches the unicorn cake topper. I also have a set of six cupcake toppers and then the packing slip is in the back. 
and then a set of 12 cupcake toppers and the packing slip is also in the back that is a disappointment I made this one of the first days that I started to feel better. I was about to package it. I was about to put it in the shipping box and send it off. And then I realized that the customer wanted to switch all of the gold elements for silver. So now I have this whole cake topper that's personalized that I am just gonna have as a reminder of the bad times because I wanted to cry when I realized it was like right towards the end of the day. I thought I was finished with everything and I was gonna be able to lay down and just relax. I had to do it all over again. This as a little reminder here because I don't know what else to do with it. I'm not gonna throw it away. I refuse to throw it away. It was hard work trying to get that done. So I'm just gonna leave it there and maybe someday an Elizabeth will, will turn eight years old that loves tie-dye. I got my scan form ready to go. So now I'm just gonna package. I'm gonna go to a post office right before I get my nails done. Hola everybody, it's the next day. I'm still in my PJs. I'm not gonna change. Remember yesterday I had an order that I had to design, get it approved, and then I could work on it? I did that this morning. I woke up kind of late. I fully woke up around 6.30. And the first thing I did was got the video for today out of the way. So I finished editing, I uploaded, I did the thumbnail and everything. And it premiered at 11 o'clock, which was about half an hour ago. I did tune into the premiere, but only Lupita was there. So shout out to Lupita. Thank you for joining the premiere. After I got the whole video thing situated i started working on the design i sent it over to the customer the customer approved it so i've been working on that ever since i have a mess here there's a lot of little pieces that make up the cutouts that i'm gonna make i'll show you guys that in a second once i cut everything then i'll clean up and i'll organize the only thing i have to work on today is getting that order finished like i said before it's a lot of little pieces so it is gonna take some time to finish but my goal is to have it shipped out by tonight so this will be the last order for the week that's why i haven't even like changed my pjs because i know i only have this one order to finish the week so there's no point for me getting ready for the camera and everything i'm just kind of chilling and you know just working at my pace but yeah let me show you the mess that i'm working with these are the main cutouts this is the image it's for a very very special girl so i really hope that they like everything that i make i started to organize a little bit and i'm like you know what let me pull out the camera and show you guys the mess that i made before i fully organize i have some stuff cutting i just paused it because i wanted to talk to you guys and the silhouette in the background just makes a whole bunch of noise i have more of these that i have to print and cut but because these are so tiny i want to keep them on the mat and then once i'm finished with all of these i'll print and cut some more i did run out of paper this is the paper that I need for this piece. This is one of the layers. This is one of the layers and I ran out of this paper. So that's fun. I mean, I can make, I can still make a couple more, but I think I need 10 more to complete this. Hopefully I have some like scrap pieces of paper, but that's an issue for a little bit later on. I also got my nails done yesterday. I didn't share that because it was super late at night. The appointment ran super, super late. But I did Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is in five days. I decided to go with neon pink and a whole bunch of hearts. That's what I'm working on today. Wish me luck. Hopefully I could get this all done by today. Change of plans. I had to get ready because I'm going to go find this exact color piece of paper at Michael's. And I also realized that I didn't have coffee. So first stop, coffee. I got my coffee. Yay. I went to Wawa. And I only got it for a dollar because I had reward points. And the only reason I paid a dollar is because I did a double shot of espresso. And I could definitely taste it. It's very beautiful today. I wish my husband was with me. I would have loved to enjoy this day with him. But he won't be home till way later on. Alright, so I have my paper. Now we're gonna go to Michael's. And find this paper. <laughs> I was holding my cough the whole time I was at Michael's and then I got into the car and it was just non-stop coughing. Now I have my breath again. At Michael's I got this. It is not the same color that I needed. It, I just, I can't find the exact same color. This is the closest. I don't know if it's this side. I think it's this side. That's the closest. I just needed one sheet because I think I only need like 10 more and that's more than enough. And then I also got this bluey mess free thing. I'm gonna babysit twins tomorrow. So I'm hoping that we could do this. I did go to Ulta. I needed my leave-in conditioner. I got a lip mask because ever since I was sick, my lips have been 
crazy they've been so nasty and lip oil from nyx because you know the lip situation i low-key want to get my lips done I don't know, I'm like really thinking about it. It is really expensive though. I've Googled it and it's supposed to be like, it said something about $6.95 to like $8.95 for one syringe or whatever. But I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Who knows, we'll see. I'm back home now. I just changed my shirt. It's still the same day. I just wanted to update you guys. I got everything cut out for the cutouts that I need. So this is everything, minus the words. The words are still on the mat. I am not gonna finish this order today because the customer reached out to me and she wants to add a cake topper to her order. So that's something that once she purchases, I have to design. I kinda wanna focus everything for this order on Monday. I think this is a perfect time to just cut the video off and stop working because it'll give me motivation to start on Monday. Hopefully by then the customer will have approved the design. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for all of your get well soon messages. They really touched my heart. Today was definitely a much better day. My voice sounds so much better. I mean, it's not 100%, but it sounds so much better than it has been the past two weeks. I appreciate you guys so much. I believe this video is gonna go up on Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. And if you've made it this far, let me know who your Valentine is and if you're doing anything special for Valentine's Day. I'll talk to you guys in a couple days. Mm -hmm.